What is really great about working for Burgerville is that we have a long-standing tradition of purchasing local. And what that means is that we have established a 400-mile food shed, if you will, from where our corporate office is located. And from there, we decided that we really needed to establish a much deeper, richer set of guiding principles that we would apply to all of the proteins because local wasn't necessarily gonna always be um, a choice that was available to us. So the first guiding principle that we developed was to have no antibiotics in our supply whatsoever. The second guiding principle that we came up with was that we would avoid any growth promotants in any of the supply. The next thing we looked at was humane treatment of animals. We have our animal welfare uh, protocol and we, we think it's important that the animals are raised so they can be what they are. A pig can be a pig and they're running around, they're exercising, all these things make a difference. The animals in the confined animal feeding operations don't get any sunlight. They don't have vitamin D in them. The bones are soft. If that was the only option, I wouldn't raise livestock. The fourth and final guiding principle that we developed was um, the, the concept of return to ranch. It was very important that the ranch was thriving. The people who owned the ranch were getting paid a fair amount of money for these animals so that they could continue to thrive. When I think about when we started farming with Nyman Ranch and my dad actually founded the pork division, it was through necessity because we were either going to stop farming altogether or find somebody else who was going to pay us what it was actually worth to raise our animals outdoors on pasture or deeply bedded pens. Nyman Ranch continues to pay family farmers a premium price so that the farmers have a safety net which allows them to continue farming. When we became partners with Nyman Ranch, all of our chicken, beef, and pork became 100% antibiotic free. No hormones, raised in their natural environments, humanely treated. That was really important to us. I believe that we were one of the only fast food restaurants in the country that can say that. A group of us went back to Iowa, met several of the farmers. We were greeted with open arms and some real wonderful Midwestern hospitality. In a sense, it's fun. It doesn't feel hard, it doesn't feel cold and industrial. You really get a feel for how important this is uh, to people and, and really just how well this method works. When we arrived on the farm, we saw some rotation happening. We noticed that the, the hogs were being moved from area to area, so rejuvenating the land, because um, animals play a really important role in making sure that happens on hog farms. It's all a part of our whole um, agricultural practices. So one year we'll have pigs. The next year on that land, we'll also have corn, because the pigs have naturally fertilized the land, which makes it perfect for corn. So we like to think that we leave the land in better quality than it was to begin with. We noticed the animals were playing with each other and having fun and running around in groups. What's important about that is that pigs are group animals. They're very social and they want to be kept together. And Nyman Ranch has a practice of ensuring that that happens all the way from birth to harvest. One thing that Nyman Ranch has with each individual farmer that is part of this organization is that they grow their own feed on the same land that they're raising these animals. This is where the feed supply is. And corn and soybean meal is the main food source and Iowa is basically the center of corn production. That's why we have 10 million pigs here. I think a lot of people are curious or very interested about uh, what's in their food. But more and more, I think they're going to get more curious about, okay, when I invest my money in a meal, where does it go? They're actually not only getting the best tasting meat and a fabulous product, but they're also supporting the traditional, sustainable family farmers who are raising those animals. Guests really do want to know where their food comes from. They really do want to have an understanding of what our protocols are and how they can be a part of that. That's the story and the conversation Burgerville wants to be a part of. It's really rare that you can find a burger place that takes that extra step in sourcing their ingredients from a traditional, sustainable, and humane family farm.